Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. Today we're going to fix the clutch pedal on a Mark IV Golf. Apparently this is a common problem. I've never fixed it before. I'm not a mechanic, but I'm going to go at this and uh, I'll try and get some good video of it as well. Okay, here we go. Now there's a plastic panel just above the pedals. There's three screws in it. They're 15 Torx and we're going to take them out now. Here we go. Now it's a bright sunny day, so I'm not in the shed and we don't get many of them here in Ireland. I've never done one of these before. So there's the first one out. They're Torx, number 15. Okay, one. You can spot these handy enough. Although the problem is I've been looking at the sun and I can't see it. Here's the second one. Okay, that's two. Just drop them on the floor. I move it over here so you can see number three. Hopefully I'm not in the light. So number three. Right, that's number three. Okay, so three screws all on the floor now. So I'm going to drop this panel. Now this panel's a little bit fiddly. I took the three screws out of it and that's what it looks like. Now this is the big plastic panel held just above the pedals by those torque screws. Right, that's out of the way. Now we're going at the pedals. So if you can see it, there's a 13mm bolt there, it goes all the way through. Um, I'm going to put a spanner on the other side of that as well, release the bolt and then take the pedal out so I can fix it. So this little piece of metal, this rectangular piece of metal, maybe three quarters of an inch by, I don't know, half an inch, uh, 20 by maybe 15 mil, used to live here and it broke off, which meant all of this stuff pulled out. So I'm going to take this off, weld that back in. Here we go. So I have a ratchet spanner and a standard spanner, you know, ring spanner. And I'm just holding one side of the nut, if I can see it. Just winding the bolts out again. Okay, that's the bolt out, this is the nut, and the pedal should just come out, because there's nothing holding it, other than this clip maybe. Now I've just taken this little clip out, it's quite hard to get out, it's very tight, but if you push it in that direction, it will actually come off, uh, but you want a bit of strength for doing it. This is the spring for pushing the clutch back out and hopefully now the pedal comes back out. So this just fell out as well. Tricky enough thing to get out. Okay, so this is my clutch pedal goes on like this. It's got a roller. Roller goes in here. It's like a bushing, a bearing if you like. Um, this little white thing, it holds, there's a push rod in there and this holds it in place. This pushes in here. The problem here is the whole assembly pushed through the back because the back of the socket broke off. You know, so I'm going to weld that back on here now like that. Right, so if you don't have access to welding equipment or you just can't weld, whatever, um, you could actually put a, drill a hole here and put a bolt through, you know, so that this little white clip can't go all the way through. Now I'm set up with a welder here, so it's handy enough for me to just kind of put that on the back, tack it in position, boom, that's me done. Um, and then just reassemble all of this stuff. Now it's quite tricky, you know, you want to be a bit bendy because you've got to get right on your back, get in under it, you know, where you'd normally stick your feet and it's quite tough. So my plan now is to weld this back on so that this guy can't push all the way through. Now hopefully you can see this. This is the socket, front of the brake pedal. The pedal is obviously sideways. Um, this piece broke off it. What I'm going to do is put it back on and maybe stick something on to make it a bit stronger so it doesn't break again. But anyway, this, this allowed the piston to push all the way through the back and it messes up. You, you end up with no pedal then. So I'm going to put this back on, weld it in position, 
maybe put something over it to make it a bit stronger than it used to be and that's it so simple enough Okay, that's it. Weld it up. It doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to um, hold. Now the cap is on. Just gonna let that cool, and uh, we'll try and get it back in the car now. So this is the return spring that goes on the clutch pedal. So when you push the clutch pedal in, it pushes back against you. This is what does it. It's got a kind of a plastic piston affair in the middle of it, and a spring. Um, what I've seen on YouTube so far is people are having trouble getting it back in. I'm gonna try something. I don't know if it'll work out or not. What I'm thinking of doing is compressing the spring, putting a zip tie, you know, into the rings on the spring, tighten up the zip tie, let the spring out, and it should be shorter than normal. And if that's the case, then it should be easier to drop it in, and then simply break the or cut the zip tie. That's the plan. Let's see if it works out. Okay. So first off, you know, I put a little bit of a bend. This is just a standard cable tie, clip, zip tie, or whatever. I put a bit of a bend on it. I'm just going to feed it from one end through to the other. Might take a couple of minutes to do it. Get the angle of this thing right, you know, helps a bit. And this is not going to stay in there, it's going to come back out. So it wants to come out on that, that turn of the spring. Push it by it. Just using, there you go, I'm just using a hacksaw blade for pushing it in. And we'll go up to the top one. Okay, so that's it. And literally, all I'm going to do is just put it together. Okay. Now I'm going to compress the spring and the vise. So let me see if you can see the vise. You can. Okay, so you don't want to go too much on this because you'll break the plastic inner piece. So I'm just going to compress it. So I can still move the cable tight. Okay, so I'm going to wind this out gently. Okay, so you can see it, it's considerably shorter than it was. I'm going to drop it into position and put something here, a screwdriver or something, and just break that. Okay, this is awkward for me because I'm too big or, you know, not flexible enough to get in, you know, on my back over the, the you know, the sill on the car and get in and do it. So I've compressed the spring um, and we're going to break, sacrifice the zip tie. So I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. Here we go. Now, if you can see this, there's a black end and a white end on this. Um, we're going to put the white end towards the driver and the black end into the car. You'd want about 20 hands to do this, so fair play to the guys that do it. Okay, so I believe that's in position. Now, okay, so that clip should spring in. Yeah. So that could be it. I need to tighten the bolt that goes through it. I'm upside down. My back is breaking here doing this. But um, I'm going to get a screwdriver now and I'm going to see if I can sort out that cable tie. Hacksaw blade or something will get it. This is hard for me. <laughs> I'm not as fit as I used to be, and certainly nowhere near as flexible. Um, let's get this light off. Okay. Need to lose some weight too. Okay, so the uh, the spring is on. Um, the cable tie idea worked great. I've done it before with um, leaf springs on a car. 
or not leaf springs. I've done it before with shocks on a car, you know, trying to get them under, compress them. And it's done all the time, just, but uh, I used a zip tie on it, it worked great. So now I'm gonna get a hacksaw or I'm gonna get, um, I don't know, something, and we'll just get that, get rid of that cable tie. It's not, the spring isn't fully um, expanded. So it's possible for me to dislodge it again if I'm too forceful with it, you know, trying to snap it with a screwdriver. So there's my zip tie. Um, and I'm just gonna try and cut it. Once I cut it then, if I can get to it. Hard to get in behind it, but I will. Okay, so I'm in behind it now. Okay, I got it. Now, just to get it out, that's half of it out, and the rest of it now should be out. There we go. There's the rest of it. Okay, so, here's my clutch pedal. Okay. I'm finding this hard. Um, I'm not as flexible as I should be, or could be. <laughs> hard of getting old, isn't it? Anyway, look, um, I just have to tighten this 13 mil bolt now, and um, and that's it, clutch done. Um, we'll give it a try then. Okay, to find a couple of 13 mil spanners. <coughs> Which it's not, it is now though. That's it. Tight. Okay, so I'm just going to see if I have clutch because I, I released a bleed nipple twice on this uh, to get the piston back in. Um, you can easily push it in by hand when the you know when you're pushing the fluid out, but without it, you're trying to push the pressure plate and all of that in with your fingers. Just can't do it. So uh, crack it open, and then in you go with the the uh, the piston. Push that in, and then you can get your little clip into the socket on the pedal. I'm gonna slide the seat forward. Okay, pedal feels lovely. Car may not start because there's lights in the doors and I've had it open for quite a while. Okay, into first. There you go. Second. Yeah. Okay. I nearly took the camera out. Um, okay, pedal's working, but the camera is stuck in the door and uh, the door was going that way and the camera was staying still. So anyway, I'll just try reverse for a second without taking the camera out of it. Ah, yeah. So, not my car, quite hard to do. Um, I'm doing it as a dad for free. <laughs> Um, yeah, I wish someone else would have done it. But anyway, this is the first one I've done. Uh, I don't hope I never get to do one again. But, um, you know, you have to do stuff for the kids. So there you go. Clutch pedal done. I'm going to take the car for a spin now. Hopefully everything's okay. If it is okay, I'm going to put the plastic cover back up. And that's it then. Finished. Um, I've just serviced it then after that. <laughs> I get lumbered with these things. But look, if you like the video, please thumbs up. Subscribe. Great having subscribers. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye for now. Good luck.